that the problems our nation is facing is more than political. It's a problem will require quite a bit of uh, spiritual solution. Recently, all you spoiled children have been criticizing men of God. I understand when you take on charlatans like this one. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> and this one, yes. And this one, don't forget that one. I take offense when you all take on respectable men of God like this one. Uh -huh. And this one. Impo Imposicant. These are certified and verified men of God. We were all watching when the angels of heaven flew down, yes, and anointed them in front of us. You were there. I was there. What is wrong with you people? What's wrong with you people? Criticizing men of God. Now, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, we would have been better off if all these pastors were scientists involved in research and development, you know, producing our own iPhones, our own Tesla, Boeing jets, Viagra, <laughs> Viagra. Who wrote this crap? But listen, listen, my friends. These men of God, are making breakthroughs too. You just don't have the eyes to see. Here, here is one, here is one. The other day, after years of research, Pastor Adeboye, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, uh -huh, yeah, that big church, discovered that Nigeria's problems are more than political. Yes, they are something spiritual. Listen to the man. That the problems our nation is facing is more than political. It's a problem will require quite a bit of uh, spiritual solution. You see? You see? Did, did you know that? I, did, I didn't know that. Did you know that? I didn't. Nigeria is an Obanje. Nigeria is an Abiku. I'm sure that the Nobel Prize Committee will give Pastor Deboy a prize this year for this discovery. They will. There's no option. How, how did the good book say it? That a prophet is not recognized in his own country. Benny, Pastor Deboy drove from Ore to Lagos in a car without a drop of petrol. Zero. No, none of you people gave him an award. None. The other day, the other day, he said that he was having tea with his wife alone. And Jesus came and joined them and took a cup of tea. None of you, again, none of you gave him a lifetime award for metaphysics. Now, he has cracked the most difficult quadratic equation in Nigeria. Our politicians are doing their best, he said. It was just spiritual attacks that stopped us from being as successful as America, as Germany, as China, as uh, Kenya. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Adeboye did not discover this when Buhari was in power. Unfortunately, Godwin Emefili would have put his image on 2,000 Naira notes. Easy. So, as you all young people, Muslims and Christians, come together on uh, February 25th, I heard, I heard that you were your planning. I heard it to pray that evil spirits should stop attacking Nigeria. Remember to pray for the very people that evil spirits use in attacking Nigeria. They don't come alone. They don't come physically and do it. They use people. I'm talking about people like this one. <laughs> and this one. Yes. And this one. Aha. You agree with me on that one. And this one. Ah, of course. And this one. Yes. And this one too. Aha. Nonsense. Africans, who did this to us? Who did this to us?